In this video, I would like to introduce one of the examples provided uh, in our software package, namely the MNIST handwriting digits classification task. Um, if you download our code, uh, the folder structure will be like this. And uh, if you open the um, uh, applications folder, you will see two subfolders. The first one is called image denoise. We'll, we will have another dedicated video to talk about this image denoising example. But in this video, uh, we will just focus on this MNIST handwriting digits um, classification task. Uh, for those who are not that very familiar with this MNIST handwriting digits data set, uh, basically uh, in the training set, uh, there are 60,000 handwriting digits for training and uh, for testing. Uh, there are 10,000 handwriting digits in the test set. So the task is to use the training set to train a model and then uh, to perform as high uh, test accuracy, classification accuracy as possible in the test set. So uh, let me introduce the functions of those uh, four files. So uh, this file will be used to uh, configure all kinds of parameters and uh, um, also the network uh, to define the uh, network architectures um, of, of the model. Um, we'll also have another uh, video to talk about all the details that you can uh, uh, that you will see and the other parameters that you can set uh, by using this file. But in this uh, video, uh, I will not talk about uh, a lot of the details uh, about this file. And uh, this uh, file will be used to uh, test a pre-trained model, um, which you will see shortly. And this file uh, will be used to demonstrate uh, the whole training process. Uh, and this file will um, be used to uh, do some verification work, for example, to test whether uh, the gradient uh, is computed correctly, um, as well as to uh, provide some tools to test the running speed of the network. All right. Um, so let's go ahead to uh, take a look at this uh, test demo. Um, let let me uh, introduce what's going to happen here. So. Uh, the program will actually uh, to load the 10,000 um, handwriting handwriting digits test set and then display uh, a bunch of samples within the test set and then go ahead to uh, perform uh, the testing by using a pre-trained model. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, by the way, uh, one of the uh, advantages of using MATLAB is actually you can set uh, breakpoints or whatever you want and to really um, understand uh, what happens in the code and uh, what happens in the network. Uh, I think it's really helpful, uh, especially in the research. Um, so let me just uh, uh, put a breakpoint here and then uh, go ahead to run the code. Right, so after some uh, pre-processing, um, basically you will see that uh, uh, this window, uh, the program actually displays some of the samples within the test set, right? Uh, and then uh, let me just uh, go ahead to uh, let the code to load a pre-trained model and uh, uh, to perform the testing. And by the way, um, I will not actually um, introduce the details of the code here because it's all, all in MATLAB and um, it should be very easy to follow and should be very easy to read, very straightforward to read. All right, now um, the program shows that the test accuracy um, against the uh, 10,000 test uh, samples is 99.13%. Uh, um, this result is considered pretty promising uh, without any uh, data distortion and the data augmentation in the training set. All right, so let's ask. Let's jump to um, this verification file, and uh, um, let's actually verify uh, the speed of the network uh, during training. So uh, 
this piece of code will actually tell you will actually um, uh, generate some artificial training data and then uh, try to um, show the network those training samples again and again and try to calculate the um, average um, number of samples the program is able to process per second All right so let's go ahead to run this script All right, so here it shows that the uh, the the program is actually be able to <coughs> sorry <coughs> the program is actually be able to process um, one thousand three hundred and uh, fifty nine samples uh, per second during training. Uh, so um, since um, as we know that there are um, sixty uh, thousand samples, sixty thousand samples, um, in the uh, in the training set, and then uh, we are th the network is able to uh, process uh, thir uh, uh, more than thirteen uh, hundred samples per second. So let's just calculate how much time does the program need to go through um, all the training samples once it's 44 seconds all right so uh, this is also to demonstrate uh, uh, the speed um, of the program even though uh, the auto code here is written in MATLAB uh, but by using virtualization that we uh, introduced in the paper and uh, also of, of course to uh, take take advantage of the GPU compute functionality uh, provided by, by uh, MATLAB um, that our program is um, able to achieve like a pretty promising speed. Yeah, yeah even even the code is written in uh, in MATLAB. All right. <coughs> so um, let's next uh, go ahead to take a look at the training. So um, what is actually going to happen is that uh, the program will do do some pre-processing before training, and then it will display some digits over here and every time the program display one digits uh, that means the network have been shown 1000 samples and then um, 10,000 samples is an uh, epoch and then um, every epoch uh, the program will just uh, perform the testing in some random training and testing samples to calculate the, uh, both of the training accuracy and test accuracy. And uh, every six epoch, um, uh, the program will actually calculate uh, the test accuracy over the whole test set. All right. So let's just uh, take a look at um, what actually happens. So let's run the code. So the program will do, do some pre-processing, uh, including the padding and things like that, and then it will go ahead to perform the training. All right. So now, ten thousand samples has been, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, ten ten thousand samples has been shown to the network, and uh, the training accuracy, uh, the test accuracy now. Is about uh, is more than ninety five percent. So uh, what you will see is that after um, going through all the training samples um, once, uh, the network is is already able to achieve a pretty pretty uh, promising uh, test accuracy just within uh, one one minute. And um, after several uh, passes, um, you will actually see that uh, the network is able to achieve more than 99% of the uh, test accuracy. All right, so let me just stop here. So uh, here is after one pass of the whole training set, uh, the network is able to achieve 97.5% um, uh, percent test accuracy on the whole test set. All right, so um, this is pretty much 
the demonstration um, about the uh, MNIST handwriting di digits example. All right, thank you.